Hey girls, it's Miss Jessica. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make a painting with bubbles. So you will need a piece of paper, food coloring, you can use multiple colors, bubbles and a bubble wand, and little containers for however many colors you want. I'm just going to use the lid of my bubbles for this. So, I'm going to pour some bubbles into my container and try not to spill it everywhere. Okay. And I'm going to take my food coloring and I'm going to use green. You only need a couple drops. And then mix that up. I'm just going to use the bubble wand, but you can use like a toothpick or something. And then dunk it in there. And you're going to blow bubbles onto your paper. You might have to hold it up. And it'll leave like a like splattered kind of effect whenever the bubbles pop on the paper. And this is kind of messy, so you might want to do it outside. And if you want more color in your bubbles, you can add more food coloring. Okay, so I changed up my colors. I'm using a blue food coloring now, just to add more color to um, the piece and I actually put four drops of food coloring in this one instead of two I use two with the green just to see how much darker it makes the painting so it'll just do the same thing and blue seems to work a lot better than the green was doing so I don't know if that's because I put in more food coloring or if that's just the color itself maybe. I'm gonna try and hold it up. Maybe we'll get more bubbles that way. It made it splatter more. So y'all can try um, different techniques. Um, with the bubbles, so does a smaller bubble wand make better bubbles? Does a bigger one, does one with multiple um, holes work better? Um, so just experiment, play with around with it, figure out what you like to do with it, um, and then make sure that you take a picture and show us what you make. 